Hey everyone, it's Meg with Experience Fitness. Um, tonight, a little bit of a silver sneakers workout. So what you'll need is a chair, whatever kind of chair, and a light set of dumbbells, or you really can use just about anything for some resistance. So you can use um, soup cans, you can use water bottles, you can use just about anything just to add a little resistance on that workout for you. Um, the other great thing about silver sneakers, you can pretty much make it toward any level. So if you are a senior and you want to just take it down and just keep that modified option, you can. If you're not and you want to bring it up, I will show you a higher option. So if you're feeling good and you want to bring it up a little bit and get another little bit of a workout in, you can. All right, so when you're ready, we're going to start getting warmed up and I want to see you here. We're going to take a nice big reach side to side, slowly starting to get those muscles warm. We do a little bit of cardio a little bit of upper body and some lower body in there too, okay? And hold that stretch. Keep your chest up, arms out. Arms parallel to the floor. Come around and switch sides. Big reach right here. Again, arms parallel to the floor, chest up big and tall. And bring it in. Let's take one foot up, lift those toes, lean into your heel. Toes are up. I'm trying to back up so you can see me a little bit better. Limited space here, guys. Other side. Lift those toes, lean into that heel. And bring it up. Let's take it all the way around. So come down to the legs, come up in the front and reach all the way around. One more on either side, right down here. And last one, take that arm across the chest, big reach, big shoulder stretch. All right, shake those arms out and other side. Roll those wrists to the outside. And let's bring it back to the center. Roll those wrists. If you don't have any shoulder issues, you can bring those arms up. Otherwise, stay right here. And we're just gonna come down with a big breath in and a release. And once more, inhale and exhale. Let's get started with some cardio. So I want you to start with the feet right here, sidestepping, and then you can add those arms right here at the top, just making it a little bit bigger. There you go. Let's grab two dumbbells for this set. So we are starting right here. Elbows are tucked into your side. Palms are facing up. Shoulders are back. And we're going to take those weights up to your chest and resist it down. Nice and slow and controlled to start here. Big full flexion all the way up and then resist it all the way down. One more nice and slow and a little bit quicker. Eight singles here up and back. Squeeze and resist. Slow it down again right here, slow to the top, and then take it down. So three, two, one, and there you go. Two more here. Good, here's your last one. Bring it up, three, two, one. Good, you can set those weights to the side. We're gonna grab that chair. We are taking that leg. Big kick forward, big kick back. You're coming up, and then squeezing those glutes, working those quads, working those glutes. Up and back. The important thing here, these quad muscles, they protect your knees. You want them nice and strong, all right? Big kick up, big kick back. All right, last one slow here, and then let's swing that leg singles. Take it up and squeeze. Last 
two, last one. We are going back to that cardio. So again, we are starting here with the feet, all right? Then those arms can come in at the top. We're sidestepping. Awesome job. Let's grab two dumbbells again, just a little different this time though. We are taking those palms facing in. Those shoulders are reset, shoulders back, and we're gonna come up slow and control to the shoulders and resist it down. Elbows tucked in tight to your side. All right, eight singles starting right here. this set let's come up quick and then down slow down slow again up quick down slow two more up resist and here's your last one great let's set those weights down we're gonna come around to that other side same thing big kick forward big kick back so you're coming up and then squeezing the glutes big kick up Squeeze the glutes. Two more here, nice and slow. Good, last one. All right, let's swing that leg just a little bit quicker up and back. some water if you need it. That is our first round. We've got round two coming up. So when you are ready, I want you to meet me here. We have a modified jumping jack. If you have shoulder issues, you keep your arms right here. You don't want those arms above your head. Otherwise, you're right here. And again, if you feel good, I always say you can bring it up here if you want. This set, let's go with one dumbbell. So just one on your left side. You're gonna take your left leg back. Your weight's gonna be in your left hand. That chair is there for balance if you need it. And we're gonna bring that dumbbell right up to your waist and then resist it back down. Bringing that shoulder blade back, keeping your back nice and flat. And eight singles, big pull up, resist. This set, let's bring it up slow again to the top for three, two, one, and three more. Three, two, one, last two. Good, last one, last one. Up, all the way, bring it up, step it in, put that weight down on your chair. We are kicking that left leg out to the side. Kick and resist, working that outer thigh, working that hip here. Four to go. All right, last one nice and slow. Then we're gonna speed it up just a little to singles. Ready, here we go. Eight of them, out, resist. Last one, and off we go back to those jumping jacks. We are here. Shoulder issues, you're here with those arms, you don't bring them up. Option two, and if you're feeling great, you can bring it up here. All right, whatever you feel best at. All 
right, guys, good. Let's go back to one dumbbell, but on the other side. So we are grabbing that dumbbell, coming on the right. Right leg is back. Weight's in that right hand. Hold the chair if you need it for balance. And again, bring that dumbbell up to the waist. Shoulder blade is pulling back. Pull and resist. Singles right here, but give me eight. Seven, keep it going. Last four. Three, two, good. Last one, slow it back down for three, two, one, and again, up. Last two. Bring that chest up, step it in. We're gonna kick that leg out to your other side this time. Outer thigh and hip working again. Here we go, kick out. Working that outer thigh, making those hips nice and strong. Last one, nice and slow here, kick it out. Eight singles, then you get a little break, bring it up. Last one, and if you need some water, get that going. Otherwise, we're gonna go into our next round, round three. We are starting here with a march. If you feel good, you can bring it up to high knees or a jog, all right? Whatever feels best for you. Let's bring those arms in forward and back. You're punching up and back. four, three, two, and there you go. We're going back to two dumbbells for this round, starting with a little bit of shoulder work. So those weights, see how I have a 90 degree bend in my elbows? Reset those shoulders. Those shoulders are just coming up. <laughs> those weights are just coming up to your shoulders. Bring it up here, parallel to the floor, no higher than shoulder height. Just a shoulder height with those weights, palms facing the floor. Try to keep those elbows right in line with your hands at the top. See where my elbows are going? Good, let's take it to singles, eight of them. Up and squeeze. Nice, let's slow it down to the top. Three, two, one, squeeze it in. Three more, up, two, three, we got two to go. And here's that last one, come on. All the way up, set those weights on your chair. We're going into some lower body. We are coming here, taking that left foot up, point your toe, and we're just gonna take little pulses to the front again, working that quad muscle here, little pulses. Chest is up big and tall, holding that chair for balance. 15 seconds right here. Almost there in four, three, two, and are you ready to take it back to that march? Here we go, march it out. Back to that march again. You can jog it out or high knees if you want, whatever feels best for you, but this is your modification. Let's take those arms out to our side, pump it out, squeezing that chest. Nice work, back to two dumbbells. We're going with a front raise this time. So here's where I want you, palms facing down into your thighs. Reset those shoulders, coming just the shoulder height with that weight, up just to the shoulders and resist it down. Shoulders, resist, keep that chest up, head up. And eight singles here, bring it up. And 
let's take it up, up, down, slow. So one arm, one arm, then you're resisting down and switch. One arm, one arm, and resist. Here's where it gets a little tough. Two more, one arm, resist. Good, here's your last one. Bring it up, take it down. Nice, set those weights to your chair and other legs coming up. Point the toe, hold it here, little pulses. taking some jabs out and across. Big, strong jabs. Good. Uppercuts, you're coming here, down and up, squeezing through that bicep. And let's get those punching mags. So you're gonna roll those punching bags as fast as you can go. All right, in four, three, two, and one. Let's grab one dumbbell this time. We're gonna hit those triceps. With these triceps, you're taking your left leg back, your weight's in your left hand. Hold the chair if you need it for balance. That elbow starting right here at your waist and see where my elbow's going. You're gonna hinge back from the elbow and then resist back in. That upper arm does not move. Slow control, last one, and singles, eight of them. Bring it up. You have the option to keep that weight for these if you would like. We're gonna do some calf raises. So these can be done from seated. These can be done from standing. Whatever feels best for you. We're gonna lift those heels here or you can add in the arms here. Squeezing through those calf muscles. Good, eight more, seven, keep going. Here is your last two and one. Set those weights down. We are back here, hands ready. Little bend in the knees. We're going back to those jabs, out and across. So really any of this cardio can be done from your chair too. Anything is modifiable as you need it. If you need to sit, go ahead and sit. Anything can be done from that chair. Uppercuts here, down and up. All right, let's get those punching bags. Roll them, roll them. Get those punching bags, roll it as fast as you can. Keep those tummies tight. All right, there you go, four, three, two, and let's grab that dumbbell for your other side. Same deal. Right leg is back this time. Weight is in your right hand. You are holding that chair if you need it for balance. Tip your chest, elbow here, hinge from that elbow. Upper arm does not move, it stays tucked and tight to your side. Your back is nice and flat. One more slow. Good, let's take it to singles, give me eight. Last set, you got it. Bring it back slow for three, two, one. Good, squeeze through the back of that upper arm, two to go.
we've got our next set of calf raises. So bring it up and we're gonna hold that chair if you need it for balance. You can get rid of the weight if you want. We are here up on the toes or you can add in that weight and come up on your toes here and add in the arms. Lift those heels up. Eight to go, roll it up. Seven, six, you got it. There is your last one. Guess what guys, one more round to go. Again, like I said, anything can be done from seated. So if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling like you need to sit, bring it down, okay? But after this round, we're gonna come down on that chair and do a little bit of core. So you, you do get to sit in about a minute. So when you're ready, I want you to meet me here. We're gonna take it to some heel tappers. You can hold the chair if you need it for balance or you can add those arms right here. And if you're feeling great, you can always bring it up right here, just a little bit bigger. All right, there you go. Let's go with two dumbbells. So we're just gonna take those weights down to our side. Little bend in the knees, shoulders back, and reach down and pull up. But guess what? You're only going as far as you were comfortable going. You don't wanna pull too hard, you don't wanna feel pain. We're just taking it down, reaching for the knee, hitting those obliques a little bit, your side muscles. Do not go any farther than you feel good about going. Four more on each side. Three. All right, we got our last two on each side. And one. Now you can keep those weights for squats if you would like, otherwise set them down. And we're gonna come down into those heels over our chair. We want that chair there, so in case you do need to sit during these squats, you can plop it down. We're gonna come down into the heels and a big push up, okay? I'm gonna turn so you can see how my body is. Those knees, they are not going over my toes. You are sticking your backside way back, all right? Down and up. All right, so we're hovering over the chair like you're gonna sit, but then you decide you don't wanna. Give me four more. Three, two, and how about one more set of heel tappers? Hold the chair if you need it for balance. Option two, you're here with the arms in there. Option three, you can bring it up just a little bit. Whatever, again, feels best for you. You know what your limits are. those dumbbells one more time, once more. Going back to two, weights right here. Reset that body and again, only as far as you are comfortable reaching, we are coming down towards the knee and then pulling up. Reach down for the knee, use those sides to pull up. Two and 
one. Again, with those squats, you can keep those weights for squats if you want. Otherwise, you can get rid of them. Again, we're coming down into the heels. Big push up. Sit your backside over your chair in case you need to plop down. All right, again with the form, I'm gonna show you when I turn here, stick your backside back, knees not going over the toe, that chest is staying up big and tall, all right? How about four more? Down you go, three, two here is your last one good all right let's clear off our chair you can put those weights on the floor so we're going to engage that core here a little bit of sitting core work which is kind of different but what you want to do is kind of lean back a little in your chair if you can what that does is forces you to engage those ab muscles and we're going to lift those knees just like this elbow to knee Excellent, doubles here, so reach, reach, then switch. So again, the more you're leaning back in that chair, the more those abs are engaged. One more on each side, doubles here, doubles here. We're going to kicks and you're reaching up for those toes. Lean it back and reach. Give me some double kicks. Reach and reach and switch it up. And now we're switching it up again. Lift those knees and push down to the ground. You're lifting and twisting. Gentle push down, don't have to make it too big. Now some doubles again, lift, lift and switch. All right, tapping out to the side, reaching out. reach reach and switch switch reach switch now last set here's my favorite part quick feet we're moving those feet as fast as you can moving those arms as fast as you can almost there almost there in four three two and go let's bring one arm up over the head. If you can't bring that arm up, just take it across the chest right now. Come up if you can. And then if you are not already here, stay here or bring it here. And then I want you to gently bring it down into the lap and lean into that shoulder just a little bit. to the top and other arms gonna come up again if you can't bring it up stay right here to start come across the chest and on this side let's hinge from the hips down into the lap gently leading into that shoulder back from the hips to the top we are gonna bring one foot out lift those toes and hinge forward getting just a nice stretch up the back of the leg bring that foot in same thing on your other side lift those toes hinge forward and again getting a nice big stretch up the back of your leg Now, if 
you want, you can stay seated or you can come up to your feet and we're gonna start to bring our heart rate down. We're gonna come nice and easy, side to side. Hi, Bill, I see you. All right, hold it right here. P arms parallel to the floor. Come around and then switch. Reach and hold, arms parallel to the floor. Good, bring it up. Now from standing this time, if you're sitting, do it again. Come down into the heel and we're getting just a little bit of a bigger stretch if you're standing, but it's totally okay if you're sitting, okay? Hand back from the hips and switch legs. Lift those toes. Can you see me? I'm trying, guys. I have limited space. Sorry about that. And come back up. Reach across the chest. Big shoulder stretch here. Shake it and switch. All right, when you're ready, if you have shoulder issues, don't come up over the head. Just stay down here and you can be here and here. If you don't, arms come up and we're gonna come down. Inhale through the nose and exhale to the top again. And through the nose, big breath in, exhale through the mouth. Good, we've got one more here. Inhale and release to the top. There you go. I am so glad you all showed up today. I hope you enjoyed your workout. Um, give us some love on here, some likes. Let us know that you're here. And don't forget to hashtag XF Home Workouts. And I will see you guys Thursday for Total Body Fitness. Have a great rest of your night. Bye.